Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Um, I just want to try something different and show you some news more than anything that you might missed out on if you're interested in like Commodore 64. Um, I think it pretty much all yeah it does it all applies to Commodore 64. So if you're a Commodore 64 fan, you'll probably find this interesting. So I'm just going to cut to the PC and I'll just show you a couple of the websites and you can check the links down below um, to these things as well. I think one of the Kickstarter things on there actually the keyboards. Uh, sorry, not the keyboards. The cases, Commodore 64 cases. Uh, that uh, campaign's ended, but the person who's doing it, the guy on there, Dallas, I forget his, his name, he's still going to be selling those uh, after he's done his Kickstarter uh, you know, production run, so it's, it's worth covering anyway if you want uh, to get one of those uh, new different coloured cases for your C64. So the first thing worth mentioning here, if you've not already got one of these, is the 1541 uh, Ultimate, which is like a car that plugs into the back of your C64 um, and just gives you everything you could possibly want out of an add-on for your C64. It emulates the 1541 uh, 2 um, this drive effectively so and it's you know it's full compatibility there it's um, it's amazing if you look the actual hardware behind one of those 1541 floppy drives on the 664 it's got its own processor and its own memory its own bios etc it's like a, a computer within a drive effectively and one of the problems with that is um, you know that performance there's quite a lot of performance there it can do quite a lot and some of the games and things that are out there uh, make use of the processor on there to do uh, clever things with disk protection, you know, track loading and all sorts of stuff like that. So you'll find that you can get those little SD to IEC um, things that I've shown where you get a little SD card and plug it into a little SD to IEC there. And those work, those are fine, but they're not, it's not the same, you know, they're, they're sort of emulating a, a, a very basic level, whereas something like the 1541 Ultimate um, is very, 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 if not 100% compatible with, a, you know, one of the original disk drives. So you can pretty much download any of the disk images and they'll generally all work. Um, but it also acts as a cartridge as well. It gives you more, more memory. It'll simulate a couple of SIDs, so you can have stout, you know have multiple SID tunes playing and stuff. Um, and you've also got you can just see it on the picture there a little connector you plug in the side there, and you can connect that up to. I think that's the serial port one actually. But there's one for the tape as well. You can plug another one in and connect it to your tape port and load tapes um, as if they were coming from a tape player. So you know, obviously that's pretty useful for the C64 so you get all the loading music and stuff like that and the ocean loaders and stuff so anyway the reason I thought I'd point this one out you'll see it says um, sold out here for to show you sold out that was the last update put on there um, expected availability second week of May so he's manufacturing these at the moment and there may well be some still available it does say sign up for pre-order here now I ordered mine back in February I think it was first week in February just as it ran out so hopefully I'll be getting one of these soon but I would suggest if you want one, now is the time to consider. Um, one thing I will say, it can be quite hard to get hold of um, Gideon, the guy who makes these. Um, yeah, that is a, is a bit of a pain. I've sent him several emails and not getting a response, but I do know that just because he's busy and it's, that's not out of the ordinary, if you do try and send an email and ask about availability, chances are you're not going to get a reply. The best way to approach it is if you really want one now, is just to order one. The worst that can happen is you miss this pre-order slot and another update goes up there in a month to say sold out again. The next, you know, batch might be July or something like that. You know, you typically just keep doing these, so um, that's worth covering. I think the other thing, and this is what I'm sort of mega excited about, really, are these uh, coloured, as you see, it's described on here actually as coloured computer housings uh, pressed from original moulds. Someone in America actually managed to get hold of the original mould, uh, you know, the metal, steel, whatever it is, mould to make these cases that you know the, the Commodore used back in the day to make the actual original. C64Cs, um, so you know that was. It's amazing that not only did he find it, that it wasn't just sort of you know tread scrap metal, and he saw its value, and you know basically started this Kickstarter. Um, now the Kickstarter finished about a month ago, I think. But um, as I said at, at the beginning of this video, despite the fact the Kickstarter's finished and you, you haven't got the opportunity to pledge, you know, to put a pledge in there and to back him and to get uh, some of these cases, um, I'm pretty sure, from what I understand, he will be selling them afterwards. So you might not be able to get the colours that they were on offer as part of the campaign, but I'm sure there'll be all sorts of other colours and things, probably including the original one. I mean, as photoed here is the original one. There were more photos on here. I don't know where they've all gone. Um, you, I'll you know, post the link, have a look down below, and you can probably find some of the photos and stuff there. But the, there were, I think initially the different coloured cases is like a red one and a blue one, um, a transparent one. I think that's what I've gone for. I think I've gone for a transparent one and a, a, a red and a blue one, or perhaps a transparent one and a blue one. I forget exactly what my pledge was, but um, I think it might have one. I don't know that I got one of the original ones. I'm not sure, but I think he's shipping them. From what I understand, shipping them with like the the badge and stuff and the screws and things. So that's quite interesting as well. Um, 
And the next one, this I only discovered this the other day actually, and I'm mega excited about this one as well. Individual computers, um, and again, I'll post the links below. But you probably you might have seen that particular car before actually. That's the Turbo Chameleon 64. Um, Lactobacillus Prime recently did a video on that car, and it looks like a fantastic car. I will get one of those at some point. Um, but my money has uh, just had to be focused elsewhere at the moment. There's too many of these other things on the go that I want. Um, and if you look at this, this is what this is in a nutshell from in indiv individual computers. They've remade, you know, completely new Commodore 64 motherboard. So, you know, you've got some surface mounted components and things on there. It's going to be more reliable, less noise, um, you know, just brand new design really, you know, taking into account perhaps some of the deficiencies in the original design, you know, because if you look at this, you know, there's hardly any um, old caps and things, you know, you're not going to have old caps and stuff like that, and just the board layout, is, you know, it's been really well thought out and well designed, and it accommodates all the original chips, you know, you've got a CIA up there, I can see, that's a ROM, probably, it says ROMs, so plural, I guess they're all merged into one like you get on the C64C, um, that's a GAL, I think, uh, a couple of RAM chips down there, socketed, uh, your CPU 6510, uh, what's that? I can't even see what that is. Uh, I think that's a PLA, yeah, it says there, PLA. Um, your VIC 2, your SID, and your other CIA. So you could, you know, if you've got a dodgy board that's faulty, and you, don't, you, could, under, you could just take all your chips, stick them on this, and have a brand new board. Um, totally different separate power jack as well. You've got DC 12 volt in, that's nice because you've just got one supply. Um, but you've got all the original features there, you know, your power switch, and this is interchangeable with um, the standard case, that's the way it's been designed. So you could sort of, you know, um, totally treat yourself and buy yourself a new case, a new board, um, and then the next bit I'm coming on to, and in fact it's worth pointing out that, this, that the, whilst we're on the subject of this board, I'm showing you this, but apparently they've only done a production run of 20 prototypes at the moment, and those are kind of being auctioned off or something, but they are going to go into production, so it is worth, you know, check out the links below and just keep your eye on their website if you want one of these, because at some point in the next 12 months um, they're going to start manufacturing these I think. Um, so side tracking myself, coming back to where, what I was about to say is these, this is another sort of uh, Kickstarter type thing, Indi it's on the Indiegogo website, um, these are replacement keys for Commodore 64, um, so I think these will work on the 64, the original. they might work on the bread bit actually, because I think it's the same keyboard from what I understand. But uh, I mean, you can see some of the keyboard, the case colours here. That blue, that's one of the ones that, that Dallas was going to make. Um, one of his, and the clear one, that's another one. You know, one that he was offering as the Kickstarter campaign. There's the red one. So it's interesting how these two campaigns are sort of overlapping and have come together quite nicely. Um, because, you, as you say, you could treat yourself, buy yourself a totally new case, brand new key set, pick your colour. You know, it seems like there's a, a massive range of colours you can have. These red ones, white ones, black ones, brown ones, green ones, any. All sorts of different colours, really. Look at all the different colours there. It's amazing. Um, and it looks quite reasonable. You know, if you look at some of the... Um, this this one's still going, this this campaign, so you could just get yourself a new set of keycaps. Um, but if you look at the cheapest offer, I think it's is it 35 set... $35, sorry, 35 euros. Yeah, 35 euros, and you'll get a set of... complete set of 66 keys, uh, including function keys. Uh, yeah, so, you know, there's lots of different things. Some of them are sold out, as you can see down the right side there. But there's lots of things left to, to you know, to donate and participate on there. You know, uh, not donate, but perks to get if you contribute to that campaign. So that's well worth looking. Uh, and finally here, Bruce Lee 2. If you're a fan of Bruce Lee on the Commodore 64, Bruce Lee 2 has, uh, has been released. I think it was released a while back, actually, because I saw a video of it uh, just last week. Um, but... It does look really cool. Uh, it was a cool. The original one was a cool game, and it seems like they've just cranked it up a notch in terms of the, the level design and stuff on here. And the graphics are a little bit better, and the sounds a little bit, a bit better as well. I think it's got an intro and stuff. So yeah, again, Commodore 64 fans, check that out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.